Hey, I'm glad you guys could join us. My name is Ross Dees. I'm a horticulturist here at the Philbrook. I'm going to show you guys how to make flower crowns today. All right, we'll get started. So the supplies here that you'll need, you'll need some tape, you'll need some wire, some wire snippers, and just some regular old scissors here. All right, let's walk around the garden and find some supplies. So we're going to our flowers here. This is a, uh, one of the best privileges of working here. Yeah. So really what I'd be looking for is here is just some interesting foliage or some flowers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to get some really big blooms. They'll look nice, but they'll dry up and shrivel up. So they'll only be nice for a little while. Uh, this crown I have right now is made out of fleabane and clovers. Uh, those are both weeds here. So I don't think anyone's going to mind them. <laughs> How long did this one you have on take you to make? It took me about 10 minutes. Okay. So real quick, uh, it's uh, really not much to it. I'll, I'll show you all the steps to it, but right now let's just find some nice flowers. Okay. So you guys are out here working every day, still maintaining the gardens. Yeah, yeah, we're still, actually this is actually a perfect time for us. So there's not a lot of visitors in the garden. We can really uh, just work like crazy and not have to worry about getting in anyone's way. So. It's been a good period for us to kind of get everything wrangled back in before before this next growing season starts. Right. But once we open, you guys you guys gotta come check us out because it's really starting to look very nice. So I think we're planning to open the gardens June 3rd, which seems like a long time, but it'll be here before we know it. Oh yeah, no, it definitely will. Alright, All right, so I found a good spot over here. I'm realizing now that I did not bring my scissors, which is we don't need those, I'll just pull them up. So I like this right here, this flea bane. And I'll give you a little fun fact over this flea bane here. It doesn't look the prettiest right now, but you know, they had some nice blooms coming up. Uh, this flea bane flowers in early to mid spring. Uh, it's a, just a regular weed here, it does great. They call it flea bane because back in the old days, people used to dry it out and carry it on them to get rid of fleas and gnats. But there's no scientific evidence on that. So I don't know where they came up with that. It, but here, let's, let's go through here and find some nice flowers. I think I like this one. Does the fact that these have long stems yes, help yep. with what we're doing here? It definitely does. Uh, you, you probably want a couple inches on the stem here. You don't want to take just the flower head. Because what we're going to do is we're going to end up taping these together right here and make a little bunch. But I'll, I'll get to that later. I don't want to get too far ahead. Yeah, don't give it away. Yeah, yeah. No spoilers. We'll, we'll keep the we'll keep the anticipation coming here. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave these. Let's keep keep going for a walk. Over okay. Here. So where where are we? We're on the back side of the property right now, we near are, Crow Creek. Not a whole lot going on right now here on the berm. Actually, I take that back. We got tons of beautiful native plants going on the berm. Uh, they do not usually have as long as a bloom time as your uh, commercial plants, but still when you get to see them, it's very nice. So always keep an eye out for the native plants here. I want to go to the front here. We have some zinnias, beautiful flowers. Uh, I'm going to cut those. They need to be pinched anyway, so I'm not causing any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so a zinnia... Yeah, they're actually in the same family as the daisies. Uh, Asteraceae is the family of the zinnias. Uh, zinnias are nice because they keep just coming up with blooms all summer, uh, or mid spring to summer. So if you want a plant that really produces a lot that you really don't have to do much with, I'd go for the zinnia. Uh, if you're interested in cut flower gardening uh, or just having one at your house, I'd, I'd definitely look into getting one. They're nice plants. So we're heading over towards our greenhouse, which I'll show everyone. The greenhouse right now is currently empty. Uh, Everything's out. That is, we don't have any ventilation. We do have the roof that opens, but it still gets way too hot for a lot of our plants. Okay, so here we are. So here we are. We got all our, all our flowers here. So I want to ask the chat, what, what color do you think I should go for? I think I want two colors. So what do we have? What colors do we have? We have so yellows, we yellows pinks, yellows, pink, and kind of a more of a reddish orange we've got orange kind of various shades of pink there's kind of more hot pink anyone have a color preference out there anyone who's watching what color should we go with you know i'm, I'm kind of liking these uh these oranges here they're really popping out 
Let's see. Yeah, the oranges are nice, like this one right here. Uh-huh, that is nice. You know, I think I'm going to go with the orange, red, and yellow color scheme. Keep it with the warm colors yeah. here. Since it's so hot outside. Yeah, they're all... It, it, you need two to make one of them, so... Uh -huh. What else? This is a nice yellow one here. So with the flower crowns here, probably... You don't need too much, but you got to keep in mind you want to make a big ring out of it, so... Okay. I'd get a little bit more than you need. You don't want to be going back and forth. So all of these are going to eventually be planted. Yes. Where we, will these be going? We actually had a bunch of these going our uh, East Formal over here, but these are actually some leftovers. These are leftovers. That's why we're using them for this. Too much. doing here is safely removing these flowers without causing any damage to the plant. Uh, when you do remove the flowers, if you don't want to mess the plants up at all, I would remove them at this node right here, right where the leaf set is. That way they will just pop another one up. And it's like you never even took it. Okay. So these are our, our flowers we're going to use for the crown. So do you need, um, like the weeds we were talking about before, they kind of serve as almost like the base? Oh, yeah. And then these these larger flowers are kind of more the decorative part? Yeah, I'm gonna use these flowers as really the main appeal. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll scatter these other weeds in here though, just cause I like the more colors the better. Yeah. But really there is no right way to do this. Uh, just pick the flowers you want. That's the fun part of my thing. Okay. I would definitely recommend flower crowns as a good like date idea. Or you can go out in the field, it's not expensive. Get your uh, supplies, find your own flowers. To me, the fun part is that you get to you get to pick it yourself. So, you know, there's a lot of creative. And these can be done, as you said, with weeds. I mean, you could make one out of dandelions. You could make one out of anything. Yeah, you really can. There is no, it's all preference. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you think looks good for you. Okay. I think I'm about done here. I'll just take maybe two or three more. When did you start making, when do you think you made your first flower crown? It was two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, when I was giving this assignment, uh, they were asking who wants to make some flower crowns? And I said, wow, that sounds amazing. I've always wanted to, but I really don't know how. So it's <laughs> so, the perfect time to learn. So you've had a crash course. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. YouTube. That's uh, good. My main teacher. <laughs> That's good. So we're we're we are the YouTube right we now. Are. Hey, maybe I, maybe I can teach some people how to make the You know, I think I'm gonna take a few of these pinks. So yeah, I, just, I just feel like that. So we've got the oranges, some yellows, and some pink. Mm -hmm. Kind of a variety of pink, kind of more of a soft pink, and some a hot pink. Hey, what the heck? I'll take one of these lighter yellow ones. All right, we're, we're feeling a little bit. Wild. We're living dangerously, folks. <laughs> Here. Okay. I'm gonna pick these up. That's all it needs. I think I'll need it for right now. So when will we start using the greenhouse again? When will the next stuff cycle through there? I believe we will start using the greenhouse to start some. You know, that's a good question. I think once the temperatures get a little bit cooler, we'll put our tropical plants back in there, but I mean, it's hard to say. Yeah. L later in the, maybe early fall. Okay. All right, so we're heading back to the garden. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to come see the garden again. We're setting up our self informal garden right here. We've got a lot of tropical plants going in this season. So. And, one th and have you been involved with the edible garden growing? That's, that's expanding some. I, I've wanted to get more involved, but Jack, He's, he's the master there. I don't want to step on his toes. That's Jack's kind of, kind of our, our edible garden lead. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's uh, very knowledgeable. If, uh, you can find him. Definitely ask him questions about it because he loves talking about it. Yeah, we just got a bunch of fruit trees like figs and yeah, apples got, and all kinds of things. Figs, uh, raspberries, which do amazing here. Raspberries, blackberries. And I just heard that grapes actually do very well here too. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go out and get myself a green grapevine. Okay. Uh, yeah. I would definitely recommend. I mean, there are vineyards in Oklahoma, so yeah, yeah. obviously that that makes some sense. Uh huh. How about any of these flowers over here? Not the roses over here. Okay. 
shouldn't know if you mind if I take You know, I think I'm going to take some of these more closed cards. Because we got to. Because we want some variety of. Oh, these are thornless. Yeah, that's a good point. If you're going to be using <laughs> roses, try not to make thorns in your crown. Uh -huh. unless, unless that's the aesthetic you're going for. A yeah. thorny crown. We don't, <laughs> yeah. This goes nice with our red palette, red, orange, yellow palette that we oh, have. Yeah, this is very, very funky. Okay. It's like I'm going to disco with all these colors here. So here's the lawn where we, in the summer, would be soon showing films. Mm -hmm. uh, the grass is looking lovely and lush. Obviously, there hasn't been anyone walking on it much in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. But everything will be pretty ready to go by the time we reopen. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for it, too. Yeah, we're really starting to focus on more programming, trying to get more people involved in the gardens. Uh, one thing we've been talking about here is we don't want the gardens just to be something to look at. We want people involved. Yeah. Yeah, just really use the space more than people, which it is. And we were going to launch this all happened. So there are swings placed next. So some of those. Yeah. All right. So okay, now we're. Lot of stuff to do. All right. So we're heading. I'll follow you. Okay. So we got our stuff. All right. Now, once again, talk through the supplies. We have tape. We got tape. scissors. We got uh, wire cutter scissors. Yeah. Fairly common household supplies. Very common. I, I hope some of you guys at home are following along too. That'd be nice. If you have any flower crowns that you're making today, definitely send some pictures to the Phil Group. We'd love yeah. to see them. Send them to us. Put them in the comments. Message us. We'll post your pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that is that's some nice colors going on. Right Very there. nice. All right. So the first step you'll want to do get your wire wire around just like that that's going to take forever just twist it up right here and it's just fine yeah but like i said before i would definitely need something to do with your kids during the weekdays uh i'm not sure is school back in session jeff you know no most of the schools will probably be out mostly through summer and and getting back now they're doing distance learning and some online things which is why this would be great you can this share this video with anybody exactly all right which is a fun way to get outside and look and see what's growing around you yeah because lots of us are taking walks and hikes and trying to get outside a little bit so you could be collecting materials for this on your hike or your walk exactly all right so we've got it nice and twisted up here so this is kind of your base You've, yes. you've measured, used your own head as the as the measuring thing. So mm. this would be great to also know what size hat you need. <laughs> That's very true. Okay. All right. All right so, so there we go. Here. The next step we're gonna do. I did do it a little bit different with this other crown here. I made some bundles, taped up the bundles, and taped it onto the flower crown. But I think this time I'm just gonna tape some flowers directly onto the crown. Make it simple. Now, some people, there's also, depending on like the length of your vines and your things, you know, you could probably do some kind of braiding techniques too also maybe. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I didn't know, or didn't mention is that you could use vines to do this. Uh, one vine I would recommend is Japanese honeysuckle.
don't know if I could be exact. You know what? Let's not follow a pattern. Let's make it free. It's a flower crown. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. So basically all I'm doing here, if you can see, is I'll tape this one on, place this one down right next to it, and then tape that one on. And it's as simple as that. All you got to do is follow that pattern until you go all the way around, and it will look like this crown here. Yeah. So this is kind of the... You used oh, mostly yeah. the same flowers, but mm -hmm. this one would be very, very different. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what happens when we break one off? So uh, let's see. We'll break it off. An obstacle. Let, let's see if I can make this one work. Take All right. On now, obviously, these are, once you've plucked these flowers, they are going to not last super long. So, mm -hmm. you know, how long do you think this would be a wearable item? I, I gotta say, it'd probably be indefinitely, because once they dry up, I mean, they'll still be there, they'll still have yeah. color. Dried flowers are uh, a certain thing people yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It goes okay. for that sake. I would say they'll probably stay fresh though for less than a day. Okay. They, they will dry up pretty quick. Well, good. Well, I think what we will do is we will post a final picture of this crown, we'll make that and see this one here. Mm -hmm. And we hope you guys will share some pictures of your own crowns and uh, tell us what you've been up to. All right, thank you.